Hello again and welcome to another episode of Ohio Wrestling Greats. I'm Greg Bizjak, once again joined by Brian Brakeman, who was kind enough to let us go through his archives uh, and give us some of his favorite matches over the years. Uh, our first match on today's show uh, isn't one of the older matches. Actually, it's one of the matches that you did with us. It was from the National High School Championships uh, just here in 2002. It's the 135-pound final. Well, I think you could call it an instant classic. I'll tell yeah. you, it's, it's a match that people have talked to me about for the last couple of years in terms of what a great match that was. And it featured two state champions from Ohio, Matt McIntyre, who was a two-time state champ in Division I and wrestled uh, some tremendous matches all the way through and always a wrestler in tremendous condition. And Mike Hurley, who had had a long history of trying to be state champ his sophomore year, and we'll see that match in the, in the show later on, the, uh, got pinned uh, well, went well ahead in his sophomore year. His junior year, a heavy favorite, got off to a big lead, and Somehow it just didn't work out for him. He lost again. And finally, his senior year, everybody was hoping finally he'd win one, and he did, and he, he did so deservedly. Very tough wrestler to, to deal with because he's so unconventional. And, and I think a surprise to even be in the finals of this match. Now, so often we, you know, covering the finals of, of wrestling is a disappointment. The semifinals are usually much more exciting, often much more exciting. This is definitely uh, not the case with this match. No question about it. And, and watch the duck under that Mike Hurley has. I mean, it's, it's a classic. Mike Hurley versus uh, Matt McIntyre, Matt McIntyre uh, NHSCA's 2002. Okay, 135 pounds here. It's an all-Ohio battle, and it's also a battle of styles. On one side, we have Matt McIntyre, rated second in the country at 140 pounds from Lakota West High School in Westchester, Ohio, a four-time state placer, two-time champ, 157 and six overall. And he'll be going against Michael Hurley, a three-time state finalist with one title and 168 victories in his high school career. And Michael Hurley is very unorthodox and difficult to wrestle. Well, it'll be interesting to see what gives here. Uh, obviously, one of the uh, outstanding matches of the semifinals last night that uh, Matt McIntyre was involved in, coming back from a 6-3 to three deficit at the start of the third period for that electrifying eight to seven victory if you were here over four-time undefeated Michigan champion Andy Simmons. Simmons was 219 and 0 coming into the tournament. And what a move here. Hurley almost was able to spin behind for the takedown. Now he grabs the ankle and tries to slide by again here against McIntyre and he's got him and he's got a count as well. And the crowd going crazy, Rob. Hurley in a good position. They are moving towards the out of bounds. And fortunately for McIntyre, they do go out. That's his patented move. Take down the slide by at the near fall. Three points given to Michael Hurley of St. Vincent St. Mary here in Northeast Ohio, and he has the early five to nothing lead. And Hurley goes back to what's done him right all along, huh, Brian? That's right. That's his patented move. If you haven't seen it before, it, it's very difficult to defend. He always says, I, I, I like to wrestle people I haven't ever wrestled before. Well, it certainly worked there. He's got himself a five-point lead with 1.16 to go here in the first period. He did the same thing against Fellows from Michigan in the semis. Caught him early, caught him for five quick points, and was in control thereafter. And he went on to dominate that match, winning 13-3. to three. So these two wrestlers, again, two that had very different semifinals. Very true. Certainly a little bit of a tougher road for, uh, for McIntyre, as we saw. He came back to win 8-7 over Simmons, and now he's on his feet, tries the Grand B roll, that doesn't work as Hurley maintains the tight waist, a minute left to go in the first period, he still leads five to nothing, now picks up the leg, takes about a bounds, and they'll come back to the center. And Rob, I missed it if you mentioned, uh, are these wrestlers committed to their future colleges yet? Do we McIntyre is committed to uh, Indiana University, he signed in November, Hurley not yet committed, and McIntyre cannot improve on that uh, switch attempt and almost rolled right to his own back again, but he is out and he has the escape. It's five to one. 40 seconds left to go. Referee did get in a one count there, but that was all. It wasn't there long enough, so we're on our feet here at the 5-1 score. And Hurley again with the duck. <laughs> He's good with that, isn't he? He really is. No put, and two points given on the edge as he was able to get McIntyre's hand down to the man and it's seven to one. He certainly did. He got him to lean down just momentarily, but it was a lot of weight on it. Referee says it's there. Gary Kessel with the call there, seven to one. 
22 seconds left to go first period. McIntyre stands up again. Hurley clamps on to the leg and the hand, but McIntyre is out. He hits the switch and has the reversal, and it's now seven to three in favor of Hurley with five seconds left in the first period. And we'll see if McIntyre with the cross body will be able to come back in these last two periods. He trails 7-3. McIntyre with the stand up almost immediately, tries the side roll. Hurley follows him and brings him right back down. All Ohio final here at 135. Michael Hurley from Northeast Ohio, St. Vincent, St. Mary High in Akron leads seven to three. They come back to the red center. We've wrestled 16 seconds. We wouldn't be surprised to see his brother Ryan in this very position next year. Ryan, an exceptional prospect two-time state runner-up and a state champion as well as first three years. McIntyre right up to his feet. Another duck under attempt, and he is behind McIntyre again. And after the escape, the takedown is third of the match, makes it nine to four. And wrestling fans out there must be enjoying this. A true demonstration on his feet here by Michael Hurley. What movement and what hips, unbelievable. He is one fun wrestler to watch. I'm certainly enjoying this. He's very slick. He gets into that high crotch or duck under motion very quickly. McIntyre stands up again. Hurley clamps on to the ankle, and now he gets his 